Beth? Um, I'm Pamela Moss, my goodness. I love your name. Thank you. Me the executive too. director of the Wicker <laughs> Park Bucktown Chamber of Commerce here to talk all about Wicker Park Fest. Um, how many years has it been going on now? This is the 19th annual. No kidding. 19th. That's a long time in street festival terms. It and sure is. And this is my 12th year being involved in the fest, so it's very exciting. So give us, uh, from your perspective, some of the highlights of the festival. I mean, biggest highlight, going to a street fest, but having it really be a music fest is the highlight for mm -hmm. Wicker Park Fest. We're putting over 50 bands on three stages in three days. It's a lot of work, but it's a big reward. And the crowd showed us last night in between those little thunderbursts and storms mm -hmm. that they're ready for the music. Talk about all of the street festivals finally coming back, Wicker Park Fest. I mean, it was... Uh, Anyone who loves a street festival in the city of Chicago, we had kind of a, it was a desert for two years with the pandemic, but last year we kind of ramped up and this year it was full blast. Yeah, last year we were lucky enough to come back. This year we're back to our regular 2019 size, which is very exciting. We're the longest running festival lengthwise on the north side of the city. So we span between the Damon Blue Line all the way down to the Division Blue Line. So you can really get your steps in also at Wicker Park Fest. <laughs> Quite a bit you gotta of stay hydrated to get through the footprint. Um, but we're really proud to be back because not only do we have those three stages with all those bands, we have 120 vendors popped up throughout historic Milwaukee Avenue. And our nonprofit throws this event as a fundraiser for our organization. We're used to galas. This is a street gala. This is uh -huh. a fundraiser for a nonprofit that does small business assistance. We just went through a global pandemic. Our businesses need a lot of support. So this is a great opportunity for people to not only come out and get a music fest, shop incredible small business vendors, but help a commercial corridor that's still recovering from a global yeah, pandemic. Yeah, and that's what I was going to ask you about, um, how this brings uh, more traffic to the area and the impact on all of those locally owned businesses uh, Absolutely. in Wicker Park. There's 150 businesses flanking the sides of each of the street fests. So when we have that kind of economic impact over the course of a three-day weekend, we're expecting 75 to 90,000 attendees. That's not going to not change your business model for the weekend. So we really are excited to showcase Wicker Park in a way that really brings out the best and helps to elevate everyone's bank account. Yes, let's be real. But also to make sure that everyone is remembering all the different art pieces that come through, all the different musical components and the legacy businesses that have really lifted Wicker Park up over these past couple of years. It's one of the things that really set Chicago apart from other major cities are the number of street festivals. What, is, what are the must hits? What are the must sees? What are some of your favorite parts of the fest? You know, today we have Kids Fest going on from noon until 6 p.m. Today and tomorrow at the Walgreens parking lot at Wooden Walcott. So if you have a little one, please make it out to the fest. It is a fundraiser for one of our local elementary schools. We also have our community culture stage, which showcases local nonprofits, dance organizations, um, different cultural institutes, showcasing their performances on that center stage from noon until 4 p.m., uh, right before music gets back on, don't mm -hmm. worry. Uh, but the other thing that we're really excited about is just all of our different sponsor activations. You'll have to come to the fest to see them because you don't want to miss a number of them. They're going to be really cool installations. And what about uh, the incubator for artists? <laughs> I mean, definitely, that is what Wicker Park, first and foremost, music festival, the incubator for Lala, Pitchfork, Musicians are counting on platforms like ours, smaller street festivals, small, 90,000, to really help elevate their careers. I mean, we've seen so many artists come through that use this time period on our stages to then get into South by Southwest or take that tour from maybe a regional to a national tour level. So it's really exciting to watch how people use Wicker Park Fest as a ladder for their career. It's really amazing to see um, how those street festivals not only are good for business, but also for the bands that may not be from this area who come here and really, really hit it off with fans. Absolutely. We know that a lot of the bands that are coming through Wicker Park Fest there's going to be a couple that are local, but like you just said, a lot of these are national touring bands or regionally touring bands. So they're really looking forward to showcasing the Chicago audience, right? We're the third largest city in the U.S. They want to get in front of our audiences and then find all those new listeners, followers, and cheerleaders of their platform. All right, Pamela, thank you so much for coming in this thank morning. So for more information on Wicker Park Fest, you can check out the details on your screen right now. Top stories coming up next.